Many countries in the world are home to famous landmarks and monuments that attract millions of visitors each year. But some landmarks have areas inaccessible to the public or anyone at all. These rooms might be a secret to most visitors, but they're usually not built for secretive reasons. These spaces have all sorts of purposes, from record keeping to providing a living space to recreation, or even no real purpose at all. Today, we bring you a fascinating journey through time, exploring the mysterious and intriguing secret rooms that lie within some of the most renowned historical landmarks. These concealed spaces, unbeknownst to many visitors, hold tales of ingenuity, history, and the human spirit. So, fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this extraordinary adventure. Here are 12 secret rooms inside historical landmarks. Our first stop takes us to the magnificent Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. Completed in 1889, this architectural marvel was not just a symbol of ingenuity but also a testament to scientific progress. While most people are aware of the panoramic views that the Eiffel Tower offers, very few know about the secret apartment nestled at its summit. Designed for the tower's visionary, Gustav Eiffel himself, this luxurious abode provided him with a privileged viewpoint to admire the beauty of Paris. Although Eiffel rarely welcomed guests to his private sanctuary, the apartment can now be visited by the public, offering a glimpse into the personal life of the tower's creator. Next, we travel to the iconic Brooklyn Bridge, spanning the East River in New York City. The construction of this monumental bridge required the demolition of sections of Manhattan and Brooklyn neighborhoods. To compensate local merchants affected by the construction, hidden wine cellars and vaulted spaces were incorporated into the bridge's design. Completed in 1883, these wine cellars became the home to several merchants, offering a unique fusion of transportation and storage. Despite ceasing operation during the Prohibition era and eventually closing during World War II, the presence of these secret cellars adds an air of mystery and history to this architectural masterpiece. Our journey now leads us beneath the enchanting streets of Paris, where an underground world awaits. In 2004, French authorities stumbled upon a hidden gem in the catacombs of the city. A small movie theater and restaurant, adorned with enigmatic symbols and writings, were discovered, giving rise to rumors of a secret society. These whispers turned out to be true when a group called UX, or Urban Experiences, claimed responsibility for the site in 2011. This clandestine organization, consisting of 100 members, aimed to transform Paris's and used urban spaces into a theater for new experiences. The catacombs, with their mysterious allure, became the canvas for their underground artistic endeavors. As we continue our exploration, we find ourselves in London's historic Trafalgar Square. In 1926, during a period of widespread labor strikes, protests frequently rocked the city, with Trafalgar Square becoming a central gathering point. In response, the police had planned to construct a temporary police station within the square to monitor the protesters. However, public outcry led them to devise a clever alternative. Hiding in plain sight, the police repurposed one of the square's towering light posts, transforming it into a discreet police station. Although it now serves as custodial storage, this tiny station remains a testament to the ingenuity born out of challenging times. Let's now set our sights on the iconic Washington Square arch in New York City. While the arch stands tall and solid, unbeknownst to many, its upper portion holds a secret. The hollow interior of the arch, accessible through a spiral staircase, reveals a hidden attic space with towering 17-foot ceilings. Originally designed to reduce construction costs and weight, this hollow structure now serves as a maintenance area and once even housed a parks department office. As we peer through time, we uncover the silent stories whispered within the arch's hollow heart. Moving on to the enchanting New York Public Libraries, we delve into a chapter of history that blends knowledge and habitation. In 1901, Andrew Carnegie, the renowned steel baron, 
bestowed New York City with a generous grant to build a network of 67 public libraries. These libraries, a testament to Carnegie's commitment to education, required live-in custodians to tend to their needs. To accommodate these caretakers and their families, apartments were cleverly integrated into the library buildings. Although most of these living spaces fell into disuse during the 1970s, the city has recently undertaken efforts to breathe new life into these historic apartments, reviving a unique blend of literary and residential history. Our next destination takes us to the majestic Mount Rushmore in the United States, where secrets lie hidden beneath the grandeur. Sculptor Gutzon Borglum envisioned Mount Rushmore as more than a monumental sculpture, he aimed to create a historical site of immense significance. Concerned that the true meaning behind his masterpiece might be lost over time, Borglum sought to build an underground chamber called the Hall of Records. This chamber would house documents and artifacts, providing future generations with a deeper understanding of the monument's history. Unfortunately, Congress halted the project, leaving the Hall of Records unfinished until 1998. Today, it serves as a poignant reminder of Borglum's ambitious vision and the layers of history etched into the mountainside. Descending further beneath the surface, we find ourselves beneath the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. Within its depths lies an intriguing vault called the Undercroft, a vast 43,800-square-foot space. Originally serving as an unfinished basement due to the muddy construction site, the Undercroft was abandoned and forgotten until 1975. However, within its dimly lit confines, builders from 1914 left their mark by etching graffiti into the walls, providing a glimpse into the past. Plans are underway to transform the Undercroft into a museum and visitor center, preserving the historical graffiti and offering a new chapter in the memorial story. Now, let's visit the hallowed chambers of the United States Supreme Court. Beyond the formal courtrooms and chambers lies a surprising discovery, a basketball court. Located on the fifth floor of the Supreme Court building, this multipurpose space was originally a storage area. In the 1940s, it underwent a transformation, becoming a versatile workout space where justices and staff engaged in various activities. From pickup basketball games involving Supreme Court justices to women's only yoga classes, the Supreme Court's hidden court holds a unique blend of athleticism and jurisprudence. Our penultimate stop takes us to the iconic Statue of Liberty, the symbol of freedom that stands tall in New York City's harbor. While many are familiar with the crown's accessibility to the public, few are aware of the hidden secret within the statue's torch. Closed since 1916, the torch was once accessible until a catastrophic event shook New York City. The Black Tom explosion, resulting from a shipment of military stores meant for World War I detonating in the harbor, damaged the torch and led to its closure. As a precautionary measure, the torch has remained off-limits to the public ever since, preserving the statue's historic integrity while reminding us of the sacrifices made to uphold freedom. Lastly, we arrive at the iconic Empire State Building, a towering symbol of New York City's skyline. While most visitors are familiar with the observatory on the 86th floor, a secret awaits just one floor higher. The 103rd floor houses a smaller, more exclusive observation deck, nestled within the antenna added to the building in 1950. Inaccessible to the public for safety reasons, this hidden gem occasionally opens its doors to private viewings for notable figures, such as renowned artists and celebrities. From this lofty vantage point, privileged individuals can witness breathtaking views, unobstructed by railings, with only a small stone wall standing between them and the city's magnificent panorama. As our journey through historic landmarks with hidden secrets draws to a close, we make a final stop at New York City's Grand Central Station, a bustling hub of transportation and architectural splendor. Unbeknownst to many, a unique sports experience awaits within its hallowed halls. Tennis courts, available for a premium price, have existed in various forms at Grand Central Station for decades. The Vanderbilt Tennis Club, 
named after Cornelius Vanderbilt, the railroad tycoon responsible for the original depot on the site, was established in the 1960s. However, it fell into disrepair until 1984 when it was acquired by none other than Donald Trump, who transformed it into an exclusive club for the wealthy. Today, this hidden tennis oasis continues to provide a one-of-a-kind sporting experience within the historic confines of Grand Central Station. From the hidden apartment atop the Eiffel Tower to the secret rooms beneath famous landmarks, these historic sites have much more to offer than meets the eye. As we uncover these concealed spaces, we gain a deeper understanding of the vision, creativity, and ingenuity that shaped these iconic landmarks. So, whether you find yourself exploring the catacombs of Paris or standing in awe beneath the Lincoln Memorial, always remember that the history woven within these sites extends far beyond their well-known facades.